on the brink of one of the great discoveries of our time. Please welcome Dr. Nicholas Reeves. I don't know of one Egyptologist that would want to cause any damage to Tutankhamun's tomb. We need to establish our facts. We need to, to find out where we are with this. In 1922, Howard Carter's excavation of King Tut's tomb made headlines around the world. Today, a potential new find in that very same tomb could shake the world once more. Tut's tomb was assumed to be just what it is, four fabled empty rooms, but you think otherwise, right? Yeah, it may still prove to be just four rooms, but there's evidence now that it might be something bigger. It was confirmed that voids had been detected behind both the west and the north walls. The nature of these voids remains to be established. What we see in the tomb of Tutankhamun is simply a tomb within a tomb. The actual structure of the tomb continues further into the Jebel and contains another burial. What is the evidence that tells you that that might be the case? As you look at the walls now, of course, you, you just see the painting, but you don't see any of the surface. The fact that Marte scans allowed you to take the paint away digitally, and you're just left with the the, the bumps and lumps and lines and, and the physicality of the wall. And within these scans, it's possible to make out doorways, doorways which had never been suspected before, which certainly seem to line up with other features within the tomb to make you take seriously the possibility that these are indeed giving access to other chambers. So you suspect that that tomb might belong to Queen Nefertiti? I do. Nefertiti was the queen of Akhenaten, the famous heretic king who abandoned Egypt's traditional gods in favor of the worship of a, a single god. Akhenaten was Tut's father, yes? Yes, and it seems to have been Nefertiti who was bringing Egypt back to its senses. So if Tut's tomb is really just a tomb within a tomb, why would hers have been concealed? Uh, Tutankhamun died young, mm -hmm. far younger than they would have expected. So it seems that nothing had been prepared. They had 70 days to embalm the king and then bury him. Mm -hmm. They hadn't started preparing burial equipment. They hadn't started digging a tomb. They were left with a big problem. So you start looking at the Tutankhamun equipment a bit more closely and you see that in fact, design of things is not quite right for a pharaoh. For example, with the, the, the gold mask that we've got here, there are several features about the thing that, that just don't, don't make any sense. And I was looking at that more closely a few months ago, and in fact, I was looking at the cartouche, and I could see that underneath the name of Tutankhamun was the name of another person. Okay. And the name was that of Nefertiti as co regent This is a wall in Tut's tomb, yes? Yes, this is a north wall of the burial chamber. Uh -huh. And what the surface scans of this wall actually show is a raised line at this point here and um, a diagonal crack at ceiling level, which is consistent with this part of the wall being a partition and having slumped slightly, mm -hmm. this part of the wall being solid bedrock, which makes you suspect that the antechamber and the burial chamber of Tutankhamun's tomb were in fact originally one long corridor which projected itself beyond this wall. Does this extraordinary tomb have further equally extraordinary surprises in store? It's certainly beginning to look that way. Thank you very much. <laughs> 